Hi all, by the end of today's video you should be able to explain why increasing surface area also increases the rate of reaction using collision theory. Let's have a quick run through of collision theory before we get started. Remember that these are the basics, but in terms of our explanations, what it means is we only have two options. You can either say that the particles are colliding more frequently, or that the particles have more energy and therefore you have more particles that are greater than or equal to the activation energy. Let's get started. Let me draw some diagrams to show you what I mean by increasing surface area. So for a low surface area substance, we normally think of like a chunk of calcium carbonate or a strip of magnesium, something that's a big piece. So you can see my red block here as that big piece. If I count up how many sides there are on my diagram using the squares behind, in total you can see that I have five edges exposed ready for reaction. If I then draw a higher surface area example, you can see I've still taken the same number of blocks, there's the same area of red, but this time there are 36 edges exposed. So things like powders and smaller pieces have a higher surface area because you've got more of the edges exposed. So back to our collision theory information here. We can see that this time what we're doing is we're exposing more of the surface, there's more particles on the surface. So that means that the chance that the green particles will collide with the red ones is significantly greater. So we say that this time we've got more frequent collisions occurring. Did we change the energy of our particles or the activation energy? No, we did none of that. So we can't use this explanation here. So in this case, increasing surface area increases the frequency of collisions, and that's why you've got a greater rate of reaction.